we are continuing on data smoothing. We took the aluminum tensile test data and we smoothened it ourselves and calculated uh, the measures uh, like modulus and uh, strength and so on. Uh, but it is also possible to smoothen the data using uh, some of the existing libraries and Irizar's book gives lots of these details. Uh, so, in this uh, uh, session we are going to take uh, two of those uh, commands uh, that is given uh, the libraries that are given in Irizar's textbook. We are going to use them and we are going to use those uh, function calls to do the smoothing of the data on alumina. And I will show you the difference between the two and how they differ in terms of how they smoothen the data out. So, the first one uh, let us read the data and use the library tidyverse and DS labs and you have to give a measure called span and this is equivalent to the uh, this is like the bin that we gave earlier. And in this case uh, what is done is that uh, you take the data and you try to fit them. Uh, you, you, you split the data into many different uh, smaller portions and you try to fit uh, these given data and using that and you do a box average and you get the um, um, the, the, the smoothened version here. So, let us run this and so here is the data that is given and it is better if we zoom in. So, here is the data that is plotted and here is our smoothened curve that is plotted. But if you see in these regions, this smoothening actually uh, also follows these noise. So, if you just look at the uh, fitted curve, um, let us So, you will see that there are these small bumps that you see even in the fitted curve. So, it is not strictly for example here, um, it is it's not really that smooth. Okay? So, one of the things that you can change is by changing these parameters, you can uh, try to get better fit. There is also this other um, uh, way which is LOESS which is used to do the um, fitting which will give you much more smoother uh, fit and this is also from uh, Irizar's book and this is also there in Tidyverse and DS Labs uh, library. And so, let us uh, do this uh, fitting. Okay? So, we have got uh, the, the QQ norm to show if it is uh, um, a straight line. and. Uh, Okay, so, this is the residuals, it is really not uh, that uh, um, normal and of course, we can. So, this is the linear portion that we are fitting and uh, these are the data points and that is the fit and uh, summary fit will tell you the uh, coefficients that you get. So, here also you get uh, 683 uh, like we pointed out earlier. So, the stress is in MPA, the strain is in percentage. So, 683 would be uh, 683 into 100 uh, MPA. So, that will be 683.05.73 MPA, that will be 68.3 GPA and uh, that is the uh, Young's modulus uh, for uh, aluminum that is known. So, so, we are getting the right number and if you want to get the error in that quantity, so of course, this is uh, 200. So, it is 683, 68.3 plus or minus uh, uh, 0.2. So, that is the error that we are getting in our estimate of the modulus. Uh, of course, we should also plot the other one smooth and data in this case. And you can see that now all these uh, um, different uh, uh, bumps have sort of disappeared and this is a much better uh, smoothened data. And that is what uh, you also see here. Um, 
So, this is the one where you see the wiggles, uh, but uh, here is one where you see that all the wiggles are evened out and you get the uh, proper curve. And uh, so, so these uh, fittings also give you uh, the same uh, modulus namely 68.3 and in the case of uh, uh, brass data if you do you will get about 100 GPA as the Young's modulus of the brass sample on which the tests are conducted. Uh, so, these are different ways of uh, doing smoothing and uh, like we have mentioned it is a good idea to go to Elizari's book and learn more about uh, smoothing. It is useful for analysis of data, it also leads you naturally to machine learning algorithms and we have also been indicating how manual intervention is needed the way we are doing the analysis. Uh, but the machines already do without any manual intervention some of these uh, calculations and give you the parameters. So, how do they optimize uh, uh, these uh, magic numbers like how many bins over which you have to um, average and things like that or is there a way that you can write a program which will do it automatically and from the different uh, uh, fits that it gets or different parameters it evaluates it will decide what is the optimal parameter using which it has to calculate these quantities and report it to you. So, that is a um, slightly more involved exercise, but it is an interesting and useful exercise for you to do. Thank you.